Welcome back to Men's Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about phenofibrin, also known as Tricor. Tricor is a really old name for it. Um, that was a brand name. It really just goes by phenofibrin. It's been generic forever. It's used for triglyceride, uh, to reducing your triglycerides. Um, and as well as your cholesterol. So hypercholesterolemia and hypertriglyceridemia. Those are the official things for it. So the way that it works is in the pathway to creating triglycerides, this actually uh, reduces and increases fatty acid, fatty acid oxidation, which removes the, the precursors for your body to make triglycerides. So it's really, really effective at decreasing your triglycerides. It has a hand in uh, VLDL catabolism, um, so it's also going to decrease your LDL a little bit and, and also increase your good cholesterol, which is the HDL. But you know, that's not primarily what you're using it for, you're using it for triglycerides. So triglycerides are the really fatty, fatty molecules. Uh, so if you're eating a lot of fried foods, uh, chips, anything that's highly processed with oil, you're going to see an increase in your triglycerides, right? Um, so you can take it with or without food, does not matter. Uh, it generally peaks in about two to eight hours. Now you can take this in the morning and night, really doesn't matter. Um, if you are pregnant, you want to avoid this medication. Um, if you're lactating, you don't want to take this medication as well. If you have renal or liver issues, you do have to modify the dosages of this medications if you, if you have those uh, issues, as well as if you're taking a bunch of other medications, uh, talk to your doctor, make sure they know about all those medications because there are interactions that can happen. We don't want that. I'm gonna put up a list of side effects here. Uh, the main things you're going to kind of see is elevated liver enzymes, which you're not going to feel unless you go to the doctor and get your blood work done. But uh, rashes, dizziness, these are the things you want to watch out for. If you see this, you, you know you need to contact your doctor, let them know that this is happening, and they need to switch you on something else altogether. Um, all in all, very effective medication. You generally pair it with uh, an anti-cholesterol medication too if you have high of both. If you have high triglycerides and high cholesterol, you generally take both and then that do, usually does a good job at decreasing both at the same time. But you also have to make diet changes as well. If you keep eating fried foods and stuff like that, this, is, this isn't going to help too much because you're just adding on to the existing damage in your body. But you change your diet, take this medication, your triglycerides will go down. So guys, questions, concerns, leave them down below. Hit subscribe below. Let us know how we're doing and we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy.